Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to share how to assign keyboard shortcut key to a micro. Basically, there are three methods. Let's try for the first method. Firstly, go to Developer tab. Click on Record Micro. Rename the micro if needed. After that, assign a key as a shortcut key. Click on OK. Stop recording. And now proceed to the Visual Basic. Double click on the needed module or the procedure that we wish to assign the shortcut key. Copy the name of the procedure and now go to the module where the micro is recorded. As we can see, the keyboard shortcut that we use is Control Shift M. What we have to do next is before end sub, paste the name of the procedure. And now let's make a test. Press the shortcut key and we will be able to call the procedure as we can see here. Let's try for the second method. Also in the developer tab at the code group, click on micros select the needed module or the procedure click on options assign the key and now click on ok cancel or close the window let's make a test press the shortcut key we will be able to call the procedure or the module as well the last method that i'm going to share here is by using vb coding let's proceed to visual basic insert a new module all at the procedure in any existing module. As usual, start by giving a name. For example, at shortcut in the module to use a shortcut key, which means that we have to apply application. So we type application dot on key space the key as string as the name stated string. So which means that we need quotation marks. If you have no idea what key can we use, let's ask Google in the search engine type application dot on key and we should look for then dot microsoft.com click on the link scroll and look for remarks scroll again and we should look for to compile keys with from here we can see that if you want to involve shift in the shortcut we should use a plus sign if you want to involve control key use turret on the other hand for alternate key use percent sign let's back to visual basic if you want to use the control key use the turret followed by the key that we want to apply to assign a key it's very important to use the curly brackets and the key must be place within braces for example the letter j after assigning the key we should now make a comma and write the procedure also in terms of string we need quotation marks as well the name of the procedure for example shortcut before we are able to use the shortcut key remember to run and we can now use the shortcut key back to the spreadsheet press ctrl j and we should be able to call the procedure by using this shortcut to disable the shortcut key let's back to the visual basic what we have to do here is remove procedure as well as the comma sign run again back to spreadsheet press ctrl j as we can see, procedure is not called. On the other hand, if you want to enable this shortcut key, at the moment, Excel is open. Instead of writing the code in the module, let's copy and delete. Go to this workbook, double click in the object, select workbook. Make sure we are using the procedure open. And now, paste the code comma followed by the procedure, that is shortcut. And we will be able to use the shortcut as long as the workbook is open. We can save and close the window. Let's try. Open the workbook, press Ctrl J, and we will be able to call the module or procedure as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.